alpha particles consist of two protons and two neutrons bound together into particles identical to a helium nucleus. They are highly ionizing form of particle radiation and have low penetration. Alpha particles are emitted by radioactive nucleus such as uranium or radium in a process known as alpha decay. Alpha particles are easily absorbed by materials and can be traveled only a few centimeters in air. They can be absorbed by tissue paper or the outer layers of a human so are not generally dangerous to life unless the source is ingested or inhaled. Beta particles are high energy, high speed electrons or positrons emitted by certain types of radioactive nucleus such as Pota potassium. Beta particles emitted are form ionizing radiation also known as beta rays. The production of beta particles is termed beta decay. Beta particles are able to penetrate living matter to a certain extent and can change the structure of struck molecules. In most cases, such change can be considered as damage which results possibly as severe as cancer and death. If the struck molecule is DNA, it can show a spontaneous mutation. Gamma rays are a form of electromagnetic radiation or light emission of frequencies produced by sub-automatic particles in interactions, such as electron, positron, annihilation, or reactive decay. Gamma rays are generally characterized as electromagnetic radiation having the highest frequency and energy. Gamma rays are the most dangerous form of radiation emitted by a nuclear explosion because of the difficulty in shielding them. This is because gamma rays have the shortest wavelength and therefore the highest energy of all waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. Gamma rays are not stopped by the skin. They can induce DNA alteration by interfering with the genetic material of the cell. The V, the V, and that's all, folks.